Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today the Android April 2020 security update was released for all supported devices. And so that includes the Pixel 2 and newer, so Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, 3, 3XL, 3A, 3A XL, Pixel 4, and Pixel 4 XL. And it may be available to other devices such as Samsung devices. Some people were seeing it as early as late last week to release to their device, but that's up to the manufacturers to release those. So you may see that within the coming weeks if you don't already see it. Now, this one is fairly large. If you're installing it directly onto the phone, side loading, any of those things, it's going to be about two gigabytes. If you're installing it over the air, it's going to be very small, usually under 50 gigabytes, in some cases as little as 15 megabytes, depending on your device. Now, this particular update's build number is QQ2A.200405.005. And this particular update brings bug fixes, a lot of security updates, and one major feature that we've wanted for the Pixel 4 and 4XL for quite some time. And that has to do with the face unlock. Now, one of the major flaws of the Pixel 4 and 4XL is you could unlock the device using face unlock if your eyes are closed. They've since fixed that. So if we go into our security settings, and we'll go down to security, then we'll go into face unlock, put in our pin. We now have the option to require eyes to be opened and always require confirmation. So we now have this for face unlock. So if we turn on require eyes to be opened, it will not unlock without your eyes open at that time. So it definitely works. I've tried it out. So if I go home, I'll lock it. Now, if I bring it up and my eyes are closed, it will not unlock. As soon as I open my eyes, it looks and it will unlock. So you feel it jiggle in your hands when it's locked. So it works pretty well. Now there are three fixes that apply to all supported devices. And the first one, or the first two really, have to do with Bluetooth. So the first thing is they fixed a memory leak which can prevent additional BLE connections. That's fixed on all Pixel devices from the two newer. They also have a fix for dropped Bluetooth audio input in call in certain scenarios. So. If you were having Bluetooth issues with calls and call quality and things like that, expect that to be resolved now, or hopefully it is for you. And then finally, there's a framework fix for occasional lag when opening the keyboard within certain apps. So if you're using the Google keyboard, maybe in a specific app, whatever that app might be, it should be fixed. So if we go in here and type Google, the keyboard should work fine, not only in Google's app, but all third party apps as well. Now that's really it for any of the major features. That's not very exciting. It's not a feature drop this month. And that seems to make sense with everything else going on, but there are a lot of security patches. So I'll link all of those in the description, but let me run down how many there are really quickly. So first of all, there are seven framework security patches two media framework security patches four system security patches. There are five kernel component patches three FPC component patches, 15 Qualcomm component patches, and 33 Qualcomm closed source security components. So a lot of different security patches in this particular update. So that's great news for anyone using this. They continue to update the security, which is really nice. They do it on a monthly basis. Now, everything else seems to be working well. Now I was using this with Android 11 and batteries pretty much the same on all of these versions right now and speed so far. This has only been installed for a little while, so speed is pretty good in general. It's working well. When it was installing apps initially, it did have a little hiccup, but I think that's because I had to restore everything. So all that data was restoring in the background. But in general, everything's nice and fast, going into styles and wallpapers and things like that. So everything seems to be acting as you would expect. And if you have a Pixel 4, 4XL, or any of the older ones, expect the performance to be the same or better with those fixes to things like the keyboard in certain apps. Now that's it for this particular update. It's a pretty short one, but let me know if you've found anything else in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.